check it out. It is Saturday, January 20th, day 20 on the carnivore diet. First two weeks I lost 10 pounds. Weighed in this past Monday at the three week. Still only lost 10 pounds. So I didn't gain any weight, didn't lose any weight. It's been a crazy busy week. That's why I haven't recorded any video. And this one is just a test to see if you can hear me from here. That's my boy, little Lorne like little corn. <laughs> All right, y'all, check it out. <laughs> check it out. It is Saturday, January 20th, day 20 on the carnivore diet. <laughs> now, y'all know I started this YouTube channel, New Year's Day. No experience, no editor, no clue, but I just started doing it. And uh, for those of you that have followed along, watched all my dumb videos with terrible editing, terrible sound, terrible lighting, thank you. Uh, it's blown up in the last three weeks. Never thought it would ever happen. Uh, this morning there was like 230 subscribers, um, like 15,000 views, hundreds and hundreds of likes and comments. And, uh, mind blown blown away <laughs> so anyway y'all been watching me eating random stuff in Publix and hospital kitchens and you name it I've just been trying to get what I could because I am on the road and I don't have a lot of you know I'm trying to get away from the from the fast food and just eat meat and salt and water and stay hydrated and everything. So I lost 10 pounds in my first two weeks. Tomorrow will be the beginning of week four. So I'll weigh in tomorrow and see see how I'm looking. Cause I, I, gotta, I gotta lose 70 something pounds. 75 pounds would be real nice if I can get that done. I'm in no hurry to do it. Um, if it takes me, you know, six months, eight months, a year, that's fine. I, I'm enjoying the, this, uh, this diet, this new lifestyle now. Of course, I've always liked barbecue. You know, I got the Traeger pellet grill. And every night last week, I cranked that sucker up and I was cooking ribs and I was cooking pork chops and I was cooking steaks and I was cooking chicken wings and uh, you name it, I, it was out there. And uh, I do miss my sauces. I'm still having a lot of cravings for, for snacks and, and sugar. Um, but this has helped me, you know, re recording these videos and thinking about videos has really helped me out. Uh, a lot to keep my mind off of those those cravings and that sugar addiction which had a stranglehold on me but anyway today I thought I'm gonna try to switch things up and um, and it's football Bucks are going to play Detroit tomorrow <laughs> this is gonna be a good game go Bucks fire the cannons <laughs> love it so I started thinking, tailgate. Yeah, we do it all the time. We're going to sporting events before the game, after the game, sometimes even during the game because you're not, you don't have tickets. So I thought I'm gonna do carnivore courier tailgate kitchen. Check it out, y'all. <laughs> right inside this little compartment in the back of my car, it doesn't take up any space. Of course, I got this little card table. You fold that up, fits flat right in the back. Doesn't take up any of my cargo space. But in here, I got everything you need to make some basic foods. It's not a smoker, not a grill or anything like that, but check it out. What do we got in here? I got a cutting board. I got this right here. This is a little camping stove. Runs on butane. Put a little can in there. It's about the size of a, you know, rattle can, spray can, spray paint, but it's butane. Love it. And it's not liquid, and it's easy to store on the go. And uh, what do I got? What do I got here? 
That little pot stick on there. So if I would just want to, you know, do some scrambled eggs, cheesy scrambled eggs, or some bacon, I could do that in there. A little pot with a lid. A little cast iron skillet. I raided my camping bag. <laughs> Except for this, I did have to buy this because my Coleman stove was a double burner and it was too big. It wouldn't fit down inside there. So I got my little skillet right here. So I can like pan fry a nice steak or whatever else, who knows? Um, and of course, got my little cup, got a plate, got my little bowl, got a little cup, whatever I need to do with that. Got some utensils, fork knife, oh, check it out. Knife, fork, spoon, chopsticks. Got a little, uh, what's this, a whisk? So if I wanna whisp up some eggs, do some eggs, the whisp. Of course I got a little tongue when I'm doing a bacon. What do I got? A little little spoon, a little little spatula, some scissors for cutting up chicken pieces. What else I got in here? Oh yeah, got my mocha pot. If I ever want to brew up a little cup of coffee, got my cup. Got my thermos right here. If I ever want to do a little bit of like a real quick batch of, of broth, and whip that up real quick that in my thermos a little jar here for I can pour the excess bacon grease into right there that's about it and of course a knife <laughs> you need a knife if you're eating meat uh, a little coffee grinder so if I'm gonna do some coffee got me some beans course got me some water to make my coffee what else do I got that's pretty much it everything you need right here in this little compartment stows away real quick I know this kind of sounds funny but I could pull over walk into Publix give me some bacon and eggs give me a pork chop give me a steak I can get something and I can cook it real quick on the run on the run baby check that out carnivore courier tailgate kitchen <laughs> now let's just go and find something to cook holler back at y'all later